Hey everyone, have you ever wondered why all worker ants are female? It's a fascinating question that leads us to discover the world of genetics in these tiny insects. To start, imagine an ant colony like a big organized family. We have the queen, the males, and the workers. The queen is the only one who lays eggs, and that's where the magic begins. When the queen lays eggs that are not fertilized, surprise, these eggs become males. But when the eggs are fertilized, tada, they transform into females. So all those worker ants we see working tirelessly are actually females. Why does this happen? It has a lot to do with reproduction and the survival of the colony. The workers are the superheroes who search for food, take care of the little larvae, and defend the nest. Being female, they share more genes with the queen than the males. This makes them more likely to help their mom and sisters. With this system, the colony uses most of its uh, resources for uh, the workers' uh, tasks, which increases their chances of survival as a group. Also, ants have a special type of genetic system called haplodiploidy. In this system, males are haploid, meaning they have only one copy of each chromosome. Females, on the other hand, are diploid, with two copies of each chromosome. This ensures that there are more females to work and take care of the colony while males are only needed for reproduction. So the next time you see a line of ants working hard, remember that they are all sisters dedicated to their home. A great example of how genetics and evolution come together to create complex and efficient societies. I hope you enjoyed this little trip to the world of ants. If you liked it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating content. See you next time.